The meaning of a word is how it's used. And that sounds reductionist, but it works really well. And we were able to demonstrate that using um, artificially parsed word embeddings, so semantics based on how the word is used, that we could replicate something that was this big mystery in psychology, which is implicit bias. That we find it, for example, easier to associate women's names with the home compared to males' names with the home compared to women's names with careers and males' names with careers. Does that make sense? So it's not that you can't say that women have careers, it's that you're faster at saying that um, a woman has at home and a man is at a career than the other way around, right? Now these same prejudice representations also told us about the real world, and that's what the graph is, it's over on that side. So that, you know, you remember your school. X-axis on the bottom, that's the proportion of women actually in jobs in 2015. So one of those blue dots is unfortunately programmer. I used to be a programmer. Uh, and then one of the red dots up there is nurse, right? So there's a lot of women in that job. This prejudice representations that we had in our embeddings that replicated human implicit bias scores also correlated 90% with the US labor statistics. So that's not telling us that AI is prejudiced and there's some horrible thing we have to do. It's telling us something about the semantics, that, that our words, the way we use them, is capturing stuff that we see in the world. And what's cool about that is that when we say, all right, it's not okay to say that all programmers are male, what we're saying is that we're developing a new world. We're going towards something, all right? AI and machine learning are picking up on the old world. I hope that makes sense. <laughs>